It's me, Lizzie. Thanks for popping by my channel, my friendly little lions. I call you my friendly lions. I don't know why, Leo, but I always picture a lion doing this when I think about your sign. <laughs> I'm part Leo. I'm actually a Leo Virgo cusper, so I have a little bit of you and a little bit of Virgo. So I appreciate you out there, Leo. <laughs> this one is for you. Please give this video if you like it a like below comment introduce yourself i'd love to get to know you or recommend things for next week um this is i forgot to say this is for today starting october 18th until next sunday october 25th but you can put some recommendations that you want to hear about do you want to hear about love do you want to hear about life career give me a little bit of idea i can dig in for you if i get some requests in the comments also it's Halloween, and I'm not really into dressing up as much as I usually am this year, but I did a little bit today. I always call myself a unicorn, a unicorn, unicorn, oh my lanta. <laughs> so I'm a little bit of a unicorn today, <laughs> just to have a little fun. Sunday, fun day, that's what I'd say. But anyway, <laughs> I'm doing Pick a Pile this week because I want to reach more of you in the collective. There is a bazillion Leos out there. So I figure if I do two piles, I might be able to reach more of you. And since it's Halloween, it's all candy themed this week. So, pile one, you are the Twizzlers. A must-have road trip item in my family. <laughs> and number two is a ring pop. So, five out, are you a Twizzler or are you a ring pop? Pile one, pile two. I will timestamp in the comments. Take a minute, pause it. Then out if you need to and we'll get started. Hi there, Pile 1. Leo's, you picked the Twizzlers. Delicious travel snack. I always eat Twizzlers in a car, in a plane, whatever. Boat, I have to have them when I'm traveling. It's all because my mom. She always bought them when we were traveling. <laughs> Alright, there's a lot for you, so I'll get right into it. Please give this a like, hit the subscribe button, introduce yourself in the comments. I want to get to know all of you. If you want to, I don't know if you're chatty, but I am. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into it. Ooh, stay away from drama today. Yikes, this week's going to have a little bit of drama for you, Leos. Turn your back to it. See this lovely lady? First of all, her braid is on fire. I love it. And this artwork is awesome. But anyway, let's focus. <laughs> Turn your back to the drama. Just look out at the horizon, at the beautiful sunset, and don't let any of their fickle shit get to you this week. Okay, Leo? That's step one. <laughs> the light from within you is blinding. You're on fire. Super high vibes. Look at you living the good life. That's why the drama's coming in. People don't like it that you're doing well. Typical glow-up situation. When somebody's glowing up, someone else. It's always got something to say about it. Happens to me. Happens to everybody. This is just your week to go through that shit, unfortunately. But keep in mind, Leo, you're on fire. You're doing well. You just turn your back to it. Ignore it. Hit the snooze button. <laughs> Sometimes being the bigger person means walking away from for the sake of peace instead of bringing... Instead of not knowing how to read. Let me start over. <laughs> Sometimes being the bigger person means walking away for the sake of peace instead of being right or getting justification. Sometimes it's right for us to just cut our losses and pick up our life. If you're the better person, karma will give you back only what is good. This is about you being a bigger person to all that drama and nonsense coming your way this week. If you zen out and you're just like, okay, fine, whatever, and you turn your back and you ignore it and you stay in a good place or you combat it with peace instead of combating it with more anger and more fire, you're going to get rewarded for that. You don't have to be right. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. You don't need to justify yourself to anyone. Just do you. That's being right. Moving forward, not going back in the past, not harping on all the mistakes you made. Or letting people rile you up. Turn your back to all of it. Stay in the light and you'll be okay. Ooh, manifestation is the fruit, fruitation of confidence and belief. 
You're trying to manifest this new start. I feel like it's going well, but you're going to be tested this week. How much do you want it? Are you going to go backwards to old mentality? Or are you going to go forward and continue to do well? If you want to manifest, you have to stay in the right. Stay in the light as well. And everything will work itself out. But you are manifesting well if you turn your back on the drama. If you don't give in to that old mentality of having to be right. Having to justify everything. Having to have the last word. All of that nonsense gets you nowhere. So don't go backwards. Confidence. No one has confidence like a Leo. <laughs> no one will believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. Be your own cheerleader. You're going to have a lot of hater aids coming up this week. They're really calling for you to give you yourself that love and that confidence and know that you are awesome and that everything's going to be fine, that this is just a week you're getting tested and you'll get through it. Have that confidence. Leo, you can muster that confidence. You can. You're Leo the Lion. <laughs> Alright. Surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Exactly. Go with the flow. You're going to see signs about what you should be doing, uh, especially, I feel like your third eye is very open this week. Trust your intuition. You don't have to do everything. You don't have to fill up your whole day. You don't have to have everybody as a friend. You're pushing too hard in your life, and this is Spirit saying, stop. Just let things come to you this week. Just sit and watch the sunset. Sip your wine and enjoy the calmness of your life and know everything's going to be okay and cheerlead yourself through it because you're going to have some tests this week. People are going to be poking you. Surrender your addictions, whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin the heal, to begin the heal and are you choked up out there? <laughs> I can't all of a sudden, I can't read even more than usual out here. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alter alternatives. Drinking, I heard, is an issue for some out there. Definitely, um, I hate to say that. Nobody likes to hear it, but I feel like you've been using sex to get your way, especially in relationships, or to keep the peace, or to keep the spark alive, or to keep them connected to you in some way. I feel like that's for a very small few, though. So if it's not resonating, don't get offended. It's not for you. You could be overeating with food here, putting on a little weight, and that might beat up your confidence. So work out a little bit, just for yourself, not for anybody else. Take action on your addictions. Um, it could even be addiction to social media, I'm hearing. Addiction to being a people pleaser or wanting everybody to like you. That's also an addiction. Surrender to it. Start working on it. I mean, you're not going to conquer it all in one week, but I feel like this week you're really going to start realizing that you got to make some cuts and you got to fix some stuff about yourself. You got some new beginnings starting. Look at you. What you're manifesting, it's going to come forward a little bit, as in one door is going to shut and another one, one's going to open. It might, you might not see it coming. It might not be exactly what you asked for, but it's going to be good as long as you stay in the right and in the light, like I said. You're in denial here, especially about your addictions and your past behaviors, and you're also in denial about people trying to shake you up which might cause you to look back and get involved in that drama don't I feel like you're also in denial about your relationship see how the mask is off but you're still covering your eye you don't want to face the situation that maybe your relationship isn't so solid maybe your work environment isn't so solid or family you're in denial about something I feel like it has to do with this addiction I don't have a problem, but you know you do. You're just ignoring it. You don't really want to deal with it. you got to get rid of that denial if you want to go anywhere. You're going to probably block your own abundance here if you feed into this denial and you don't surrender to your addictions. But let's see what the secret uh-oh is that might happen this week to warn you. 
calling the storm. You might be bringing the drama to yourself because of addiction or because you're not realizing that you have toxic people around you or you're feeding into the drama instead of looking away. You're going, you might go backwards here, so be aware of that. Don't call the drama to yourself. Be, be a quiet little mouse and hide this week from all the drama pot stirs. Don't feed into it. Don't feed into your addictions over here. Don't make bigger problems for yourself this week. But they're warning you about it. Forgetting oneself. This is about you dealing with those addictions. You might not, you just might hear this and be like, no. I don't have addictions. I don't have a problem. And you're just going to continue to go forward in denial about things. Or about relationships or about work or what have you. Don't do that. Face it this week. They really want you to. I feel like that's the last thing blocking your manifest manifestation to a better life is not dealing with whatever addiction it is you're going to have to make some sacrifices this week that's cutting out your addictions again i'm getting a couple different vibes so it could be in the collective here i got drinking uh smoking sex manipulation social media whatever whatever category you fall in you're going to have to give it up now you're going to have to make some sacrifices you might have to go to rehab you might have to ask for help you might have to go to a psychologist hey everybody needs help sometimes it doesn't make you a bad person but you got to face it you got to step up and make that sacrifice this week to really better yourself you're you're, you're doing a good job you're almost there but you haven't deaded your addictions just yet you're facing your shadow self Facing all the things about you, um, childhood trauma, uh, other traumas in your life, relationship trauma, addictions, toxicity, both from other people and from yourself. You're facing the shadow, the things that you don't want to face. You're going to have to face it this week. You're like right at the end of fulfilling your renewal in yourself. And we all have this... We all have to face our shadow at some point. I do. Everybody in this building has. You know, everybody has to face their shadow self. So don't think that spirit's bullying you or this is a hard message. Because this happens more than once in your life as well. As we grow and evolve, we're going to change over the years. And the older we get, the more we're going to have to face about our shadow. Doesn't mean you're a bad person. It really doesn't just means you have some things to work on and you gotta face it this week it's time to step up and look the, the secret uglies that we like to hide under the bed or in the closet it's time to look them in the eye and, and acknowledge them this week and start to deal with them yeah there's gonna be a shift the minute you face the shadow stuff and you get rid of the denial and you say okay I have an addiction or I have some things that I need to work on there's gonna be a shift you're going to feel a little bit of a weight lift off of you. And maybe the drama people will back off a little because maybe all it takes for the drama to stop is for you to be honest and get out of this denial, whatever denial it is. Maybe people are trying to tell you that you have an addiction, that you need help and something. It could be big, small. It doesn't have to be like substance rehab. It could be anything. Like I said, social media. You could be addicted to gossip. You could be addicted to attention could be addicted to working out you could be an overeater eating too much stuff whatever is calling to you it's time to face it you're going to get clarity this week as far as what you need to do about this addiction and this last step of inner healing you're going to know what to do you're going to have a plan by the end of the week if you do the work i know this was a hard message i'm really sorry but this is what spirit needs to tell you and they do it to me too when I get readings from other people or I do one on myself, they tell you all the shit you don't want to hear. They call you out sometimes. That's absolutely what you need to hear. Heal, obviously, and hear. And I'm having a hard time speaking for you. So I feel like you're having a hard time with your throat chakra. You're having a hard time vocalizing that you are having a problem or you're struggling with something. Also happens to all of us. Release it and you'll feel so much better. I hope this was helpful. Um, if, again, if you want to know anything next week about love, career, life, just go to the comments and say, I'm a Leo, and next week I want you to focus on life, and I will do that for you. Come back October 25th, next Sunday, for next week. 
And if this isn't your week, it isn't your week. The collective is huge. I'm sorry about that. I hope I get to you, though. Hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you all next week. Love and light. Bye. Hi there, Leo Pile 2. You picked the ring pop. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Would help if I held it up, right? When I was a kid, I loved those. I even play got married on the playground with a boy with ring pops. We were like four, but it doesn't count. But you know what I mean. We didn't have sour ones back then either. Anyway, let's get right into your reading. Please hit the like and subscribe button if I'm calling to you. Um, I'll say this in case I forget. If next week, October 25th, when I do a reading, do you want to hear about love, life, career? Go to the comments and say, I'm a Leo and I want to hear about love. And I will focus on that for you. Just an FYI out there. All right, let's get into your reading. What do we got? Ooh, you are pure magic. Look at you, little powerhouse. I'm getting a witch vibe or somebody like a light worker, star seed, um, something in the occult, or just very good intuition with your third eye. A powerhouse Leo out there. All right, what else do we got? Worrying about the problem has never been a useful solution. All worry does is kick up fear and anxiety, and it makes it so much harder on you. Instead, zen out and breathe. Center and take it day by day. Stop letting worry eat at you. Oh dear, your worry and your anxiety is stopping your gifts here. If you're trying to manifest something, the anxiety and the worry inside you is blocking your abundance from coming in or blocking a change you're trying to make here. Worrying does nothing but give us gray hair and wrinkles. <laughs> There's literally no purpose to it. It doesn't bring anything into our life, but great. So whatever you can do to get rid of this anxiety, whether it's going for a walk, being out in nature, working out, talking to somebody, you got to find a way to release it because it's blocking your magic here. Rome was not conquered in a single day. You can overcome this. You just need to think and create a solid plan. I feel like because you're so all over the place in your mind, you're not planning things out correctly or you're, you're choosing things that are wrong for you. You could be swayed by other people because you're not thinking clearly and you're not leaning on your intuition because you're so, you have so much stress and so much anxiety. I heard about being successful. So this could be at work or it could be just in your environment with love or, or your lover's family. What else do we have? Expression. Express your true self. The world needs you. Throat chakra. This is you opening up and admitting that you're struggling with anxiety and you're stressed out. And this is you vocalizing what you need. What do you need to calm down? What have you learned in your life that could help others? Being truthful and honest and not just trying to fit in with the status quo I'm hearing. Be your authentic self. Speak your authentic truth. Everybody struggles. Everybody does. Everybody has the right to say their own struggles. I just feel like my throat just got like I'm afraid to say out loud that I'm struggling. Don't be afraid. Struggling doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you a lost cause. It doesn't. If you speak genuinely and authentically, people will respond to it. They will, they will recognize that struggle in themselves. It's when you fake it that you people start to turn away, if that makes sense. Destiny. Follow your instincts. They lead to the truth. Exactly. You're a powerhouse here. With your third eye, you, you are a psychic. I do feel like you're a witch here. I do feel like you do magic of some kind. And you've been trying and it isn't working out the right way because one, you could either be doing it for the wrong reasons, like very vain, egotistical, which we all do when we're not on high vibes. We just want to fix it like a band-aid and it doesn't work like that. But this is also your stress and anxiety stopping you from being able to use your um, intuition here. So I feel like once you calm down, center yourself, you're going to see clearly what to do and just do it one step at a time. Like they said, Rome wasn't built in the day. You don't have to do it all at once. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. 
Then you can own your power and soar in your life. This is talking about patterns that like you probably learned from your parents or society that just don't fit with you. Like you've been trying to live up to it and it's just sucking your soul out a little bit. So you need to let go of outdated beliefs that don't work for you, that don't fit in your life. Something to do with gender roles here. I don't know if you're a male or a female. I am getting masculine energy, but that doesn't mean it's a man because women can be in masculine energy as well. But you got to let go of past way of doing things, of how other people live their lives. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Don't live to other people's standards. Create your own. What works for you and your family? Okay, do that. Don't worry about everybody else. Surrender fear. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. Exactly. This is, Rome was not built on a day. This is going to be a very slow and steady way of getting that success. But you're so fearful of failure, of not being embraced well, of not being liked. Your need to be liked and loved is very, very strong right now because your low vibes in here feel like you're trying to people please or you're trying to be massively successful right out the gate nobody is massively successful right out of the gate this is a baby step surrender the fear of failure failure is just a lesson you were meant to learn because that wasn't your path but it's teaching you something about what is your path why did you fail instead of like oh my god I failed or oh my god I'm gonna fail why why do you feel you're gonna fail Figure it out, like as if it was a problem or a word puzzle. Dig into it. What lesson did you need to learn? Learn it and you won't make it again. You know what I mean? Don't fear failure. Failure is nothing to fear. It just means mm, you took the wrong turn. That's it. And everybody fails over and over and over. I can't even tell you how many times I fell on my own damn face failing. I got back up, dusted myself off, and I tried something else. Until you find what works, you just keep doing that. It, that's how we learn. That's how we grow as people. It doesn't make you a failure in life. If you keep getting up and you keep going, you're not a failure. You got this. Just breathe out there. Yeah, you have, you're trying to manifest this new life, this new successful life, whether it's in business and love or both. You want a new chapter to start in your life. You don't feel successful. You don't feel good enough. You're beating yourself up. You're the biggest critic to your own self right now. And it's blocking you from manifesting that new life. But you can have it if you just calm down, little Leos out there. Then out. If you need to go talk to a therapist, hey, I can't even tell you how many hours I spent in a therapist's office. I turned out fine. There ain't no shame in it. There ain't no shame in my game. I'm not embarrassed to admit I went to a psychologist and I still, to this day, go to support groups. And I feel great when I leave. Honest. <laughs> Take that risk. Don't be afraid to follow that intuition. Even if people think it's not so, if you feel in your soul like that is what I'm meant to do. This is my calling or this is what makes me feel good. You just go and do it. Don't you worry about what other people have to say or what's going to happen. Give it the spirit. All you got to do is listen to your intuition. You're gifted. They're going to leave you, leave you, <laughs> lead you in the right direction. Okay, here's some shadow work that might happen this week to knock you off your path that they're warning you about. Fragmentation is only looking at one side of the story and not looking at the full side. Like, look at how many people were successful in life and fast. Like Oprah Winfrey, she failed massively, and now nobody would ever think Oprah as a fucking failure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody fails. Look at the truth, not just, don't just listen to your fear and anxiety, because it makes you see only fragments of your life and the whole, instead of the whole big picture. So, they're warning you that this week your stress and anxiety can really keep clouding your mind if you don't actively work on meditating. Do some yoga, take a walk, talk to someone, read some self-help books, whatever makes you, you might have a problem with anxiety, you might need medication, go see a doctor, there's no shame in it, you don't have to live anxiety-ridden, ridden, 
I can't talk for these Leos this week. You don't have to live caged in anxiety and fear and depression. You don't. I struggle with depression too. I struggle with anxiety too. But there are times where I still have to check myself. And this week is going to be a time where you have to check yourself. And you have to reach out. And you have to ask for help. And you have to speak your truth. You're struggling. It's okay. You can admit that. It doesn't make you a weak person. It doesn't make you a failure. It just makes you human. It's okay to be human. We're all human. We're all homo sapiens. God damn it. <laughs> Ooh, Parasite. This is like energy vampires. And don't cling on to things. Like, people, things, work, don't cling on them to avoid the problems or avoid the truth or to not think about things. That's not how to deal with it. you got to face it head on. You can't just latch on to happy people and pretend to be happy with them. You can't just throw yourself at work to not face that your life is falling apart a little bit. And also watch out for energy vampires. That People that suck off your energy and make you feel even lower, they're warning you about that. You got some parasites around you. Be careful. And don't become a parasite yourself this week. As in latching on to things like a band-aid over your wounds. It's not going to help you grow and it's not going to help you open your power back up. You have a big purpose. You have a destiny and an important one. Touching their soul, you could be an empath here. This is you getting in touch with here. Your destiny is in here. It's already inside you. It's already pre-written. You just got to listen to yourself. But that stress and anxiety is making you deaf to your own inner voice, if that makes sense. You will triumph. You will change your luck. But it's all about controlling that fear, controlling that anxiety, and controlling that depression. Again, we all go through this. You're human. It's okay. I feel like you're more, your pride is more hurt because you want to be put, you want to be the person that's viewed put together, that has their shit together, that is strong and triumphant. But even strong, triumphant people have shitty weeks and shitty times and shitty months and even they need help. Unless you are God or Jesus himself, you're never going to be perfect all the time. Get that out of your head, Leo, okay? Yeah, center yourself. Find your balance. This is all about what makes you calm. Is it yoga? Is it drinking tea? Is it going for a walk? Is it talking to someone? Is it listening to self-help books? Whatever helps you, you've got to ask for it and you've got to do it this week. Bring that center back and you're going to, your magic's going to open up, your third eye's going to open up and you're going to go down positive paths. Ooh, look at the surface. The surface of everything. Every relationship you have, work, love, family, look at it all. And what, what can you see with your eyes without your intuition and just deal with that this week. Once that's dealt with, then you can center and hear as you're doing that, you can start to center yourself, but deal with the surface shit and then start, maybe next week you can start digging into like inner childhood wounds, but you got too much on your plate, so just focus on the surface stuff this week as in getting your anxiety under control, getting your stress under control, talking, um, thinking good about yourself, hang some quotes all over your house, happy, positive quotes that you are beautiful, you are loved, you are worthy. You are magical all over your house and read them whenever you walk by or you walk into a room. I know it sounds cheesy, but it does help. You got to change your thinking. Your thinking has got you in a cage. Like I said, you're being your own biggest critic. This week is all about silencing that critic and finding that peace again so that your third eye can open and your destiny will be laid out before you better. You'll be able to understand where, what direction you need to go in and who you can trust. I hope this was helpful. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Come back on October 25th um, for the next week's reading. Also, don't forget, Leo, if you want to focus on love, life, or career, put that in the comments. Say, I'm Leo, and I want to hear about life. And I will focus on that for you. Alright, I hope this is helpful. Have a good week and remember, you are worthy. 
you are valuable, you have a voice, and you have positive things to give this world. Whether you believe it or not, you're going to be okay. You're going to repeat after me. You, I, am going to be okay. De-stress this week. That's your main, main goal. Okay? Love and light. See you next week. Bye, Leo.